Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name's Mark. This is review number 152. It is Dram 10 of my 18-year-old Blind Dram Whiskey Showdown. Straight in the box. Pull something out. So top of the leaderboard right now is the Glendronic 18. And up in second place is Lismo. At the bottom, we have the Glen Scotia 18, which disappointing. I've said that before, but that's disappointing. Now, it could have been that the particular sample that was sent to me of the <clears throat> Glen Scotia was an old bottling. It could have been a new bottling. Um, there are comments that the, um, the latest bottling isn't as good as the older bottling, but... Um, So let's just get onto it and onto the, uh, onto the nose. Cheers. So this is, it's quite floral. It's um, quite delicate. There's a creamy, there's a creamy note there. It's got a touch of sweetness to it. It's, it's like peaches and palmer violets. It's, um, it's got a citrus undertone with honey some cinder toffee like crunchy bars but it's quite restrained um abv is not really jumping out the glass so i'll put this at 43 there is a touch of abv there but not not jumping so 43 is what i'm going to say it is a delicate nose this it's it's not bad it's fruity for certain sherbet sherbet lemons so we've got sherbet lemons, we've got cinder toffee, we've got palmer violets. This is a sweet box. Yeah, that's that's a nice nose. Okay, on the palette, cheers. That's ex-bourbon. That is an ex-bourbon maturation. It's um citrus fruity. It's those um lemon sherbets with plenty of the sherbet, the fizzy kind of tingly um ice and sugar that they put in the, the the lemon sherbet it's a drier sweetness than um a sweet would be a boiled sweet would be there's um honey in there the texture is mm -hmm. is just getting away with enough oil so that's not too watery it could do with a little bit more abv to push that um that oil up a bit it's it's honey it's milk chocolate it's um sherbet lemons the oak starts to peer around the mid palette into the finish which is drying touch of ginger and uh, just just ginger really maybe a touch of white pepper but not much this is this is reminding me of a Glen Caddam 10, but with a bit more oak and less ABV punch. It's lively and fruity. It's hiding its age quite well in that that oak is not overly um, bitter and drying as it could be. I'm thinking where this could be from. I want to say it's 43%. No higher than that. And I want to say that it feels Highland. It does feel like this is a Highland whiskey. Because it feels very Glencadam. But it's not, I don't have any Glencadam 18s. They don't do it 18, do they do 17, they do 19. Deanston 18. This could be the Deanston 18, but I don't think it is. I don't think this is the Deanston 18. But that's what this could be. Onto the one with water. We'll see what we get from there. That's improved the nose even more, and that nose is nice. This has now brought out more um, of the sherbet lemon. It's also brought out some grassy notes, some earthy notes. It's um, sweet straw. 
apples or apricot maybe it's a lovely nose that sherbet lemon more oak more spice um it's brought out more more stewed fruits it isn't a sherry whiskey this one i think this is this will be a combination of first fill um ex bourbon and maybe second fills gentle brown sugar and um milk chocolate creamy milk chocolate honeycombed cook yeah crunchies as i said on the nose okay so um v 43 percent region highland distillery it's either deanston or i think what else i've got left it's not the glenord glamoury glamoury i think that is a bourbon cask okay so this is either the glamoury or the deanston let's go and find out would i buy a bottle yeah i'd buy a bottle of that that's tasty that's it's it's similar to a um glen Cadam 10 uh, which is a really nice drum um so yeah i'd possibly buy a bottle of this depending on the price but yeah it's tasting good what do we have whoa okay right so i got the abv well off that hides its abv really well Mm. That drinks like a 43. But anyway, it's Glenmore, 18 year old, the Elgin, Her Car um, Elgin Heritage, 47.2% ABV. Sample uh, that I picked up when I did a um, Moss's Malt Shop, um, ready for this particular um, review. I don't know how much the Glenmore costs. Bear with me a while while I have a look. Okay, that is a bargain. So Glamoury 18, a master's malt, costs uh, £62.85. That is a, that is a, a whiskey to buy. Uh, 18 year old uh, from Glamoury's Her Elgin Heritage Range. Uh, it's approachable, easy, accessible and easy enjoyable whiskey. Uh, this expression is drawn from first full American oak barrels and pot plenty of vanillary tastiness. Um, taste notes, juicy apricot and yellow plum and a glaze of honey. I think I mentioned apricot. Uh, palette earthy vanilla rice first shortly followed by hints of lavender and sultana. And finish uh, lingua notes of ginger and cinnamon. I uh, kind of agree with that. Um, that is a lovely, lovely thing. I didn't say where it would go on the leaderboard, did I? Hmm. Second place. Yeah, this is in second place. In fact, in fact, I'm going to throw a spanner in the works here and say that actually this is top. I think, I think given what I was saying about the fact that the Glendronic 18 whilst it's a fantastic whiskey it's priced too highly given what you can also get for really good matured sherry whiskies um and that this is 62 pounds it's 40 quid cheaper than the glendronic it's tasty it's enjoyable um it's not breaking the bank really demaray you're now top eat that <laughs>